Hi, my name is Aurelio. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to see you. Today's video is going to be all around plus size black owned clothing brands that you need to know about. If you are new to my channel, the content that I post here is all around style and fashion for the plus size mature woman. I am a firm believer that life is way too short to live without style. I post one to two times a week, so if you are into it, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss anything here on my channel. If you are a returning friend, welcome. I am so excited to see you again. I just want to make a couple of statements around what has been happening in our country and around the world in the last couple of weeks. I believe that black lives matter. Just gonna throw it out there. Black lives matter. I'm not gonna jump on a soapbox. All I am going to say is that I am a firm advocate of equal rights, and that includes the equal rights of our black brothers and sisters. I have always been an advocate of equal rights. I have taken the last two weeks to listen and learn and educate myself about what it is to be black in America today. And even though I am an advocate for equal rights, I have to admittedly say that I have neglected learning about black life in America. And I want to just say here and now that I am anti-racist. I have set up contributions to organizations, but I also feel that it's important that I acknowledge and incorporate black owned business brands into the content that I provide here. This has been a blind spot for me and I feel that it's for me personally, important for me to put my money where my values are. I think that it's important to support others and to support in ways that are most meaningful and also sustainable and long lasting. I want to make it clear that this is not me getting political on my channel. I say that because this is not a political problem. This is a humanitarian problem. And this is the way that I feel that I can contribute to the solution to this problem. I will have links down in the description bar for resources to help you to easily educate yourself if you haven't done so already. I have also listed down below descriptions to organizations that you can donate to or petitions to sign, things like that, that can help to move the needle where this, this problem is concerned. One disclaimer that I have to make about a lot of the businesses that I will be focusing on today, um, they are plus size focused, but one of the things is that they are higher priced. But the reason being is because these are small businesses that have limited production capabilities and so everything's going to be a little bit more expensive because things are handmade or custom made to order. I would say in some instances they fall into the luxury category, but frankly with Chanel and Louis Vuitton and other luxury brands soon to follow raising their prices during this time of COVID, I am actually in the market for new luxury brands because I've had it with those guys. That's just a whole nother topic and there's a lot of content out there around the increase in prices for luxury brands. That has driven me to look for alternatives and I found a lot of really, really great places that I think that you can purchase from. But just understand that a lot of these things are going to be more of investment pieces. So keep that in mind. So the first one is actually not a clothing company. I'm cheating just a little bit. It's actually a stationary company and it is called Cloth and Paper. Now, if you're anything like me, I am a huge stationary fiend. I have in the last three years abandoned my planner mid-year to jump to a different planner because I'm just kind of that crazy about it. This year, I'm doing my best to not do that. You know, I'm gonna try and stick with my planner for the entire year before I change it out. But cloth and paper is a great resource for other types of planner and stationary needs. They've got all kinds of really cool inserts. They've got a bunch of really cool sticky notes. They've got all kinds of stuff and they offer a monthly subscription box. You can either pick a box that has pens and things like that, or you can pick a box that has stationary and planner inserts and things of that nature. Cloth and paper has got some very, very beautiful and really, right up my alley 
paper accessories. They've got a wonderful aesthetic. Now, right now they don't have any of the leather binders that they normally sell on their website for sale, but you can use a lot of their inserts if you've got like an already existing binder. So you would find the inserts would fit your binder. They do offer a lot of other things though. They do offer pens, like I said, um, and other types of accessories that all center around stationery. I went ahead and subscribed to a subscription box because I want to see what their product is all about and I will, if I like it, likely be getting inserts next year when it comes time to repurchase my planner. The next brand that I wanted to talk about is called Brother, I hope I pronounce it right, Brother Veliz. Veyes? Veyes. They do shoes handbags and small leather goods. They are one of those brands that is a luxury brand. A lot of the shoes are in the seven to $900 range. Their handbags are in the, I would say probably around 400 to $900 range, but they are stunning. They are so, so beautiful. And if you are like me looking for alternative luxury brands, this is definitely one to look into. The products that they offer are so beautiful and I am interested in a lot of different things for this brand. Their handbags and shoes remind me a lot of By Far. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I've got a pair of By Far Tanya sandals that I absolutely love. I've been, I've had my eye on some of their handbags as well, but I think that Brother Veles, Veyes, this website has got some stuff that is competing with By Far in my book. I think that I might actually end up, if I'm gonna buy an investment bag, they're probably gonna be the ones to go with for me. One. The next brand that I have is called Mateo New York, and they are fine jewelry and handbags. Their jewelry is so pretty, especially this emerald cut crystal ring with an initial on it. And I am so taken by that. Their handbags are structured bag goodness. I love them. I think that both all of the products that are uh, on the Mateo website are very, very beautiful. They are a fine jewelry maker. They're gonna be investment pieces, but they look fantastic. The designs are very modern, very cool, very chic. They use pearls. I mean, it, it's just right up my alley. Why did I not know about Mateo New York before today? I don't know, but they are absolutely on my radar now. And uh, I feel bad for my family because I've got a few of their baubles on my Christmas wish list. The next company that I wanted to talk about is called Telfar. And Telfar sells vegan leather goods. They've got some jewelry and some clothes, but really it's the bags that caught my eye. Now this is a smaller bag maker, so stock is very limited. There's not a whole lot of variation in the handbags that they provide other than the colors that they provide. They're really, really nicely made. They're in about the $200 range. Um, they're all branded with a Telfar brand. So I think that it, these bags are actually quite pretty. I love the structured tote. I'm not in the market for a tote bag, although I was tempted to get the tiny little tote bags because I have this thing about small handbags, but I did not. They are really, really pretty but stock is limited. So just know that they may not have a lot of colors available anymore. The next brand that I wanted to talk about is called Victor Glamod, and it is all knit apparel. They are currently taking pre-orders for fall winter 2020, and it is a curvy pre-order event. So the smallest size they have is large and they go up to a um, 3X, I believe. The knits are really thick and chunky. They're gonna be really, really nice for the winter, I think. So if you want to make an investment in a good quality knit skirt or sweater, I think that this is definitely a place to look into. These sweaters, I believe, will last you for quite some time. They look really well made. And because they are taking pre-orders for fall, winter, you know that it is going to be limited batch that they make. It's not gonna be mass produced. And you can, bet that the quality is probably going to be up there. They are in about the three to $400 range, so just know that. But again, these would be great investment pieces to have in your wardrobe. The next brand that I wanted to talk about is called Kyrie. They are semi-fine jewelry. Um, they are either gonna be vermeil or sterling silver. They 
offer semi-precious stones. Now, what I really, really like about them is that their jewelry is very beautiful and minimal and yet very structural and bold. I really, really love the design of the rings that they have, especially the rings that have the stone at the top. I think that these are fabulous. Not to mention, I really like their website. I like the fact that they give that three, rotating 3D view of their pieces. I have my eye on those rings. Those rings are actually quite lovely. They also sell a bracelet in that form and they've got some really nice hoop earrings that have some beads on them. I think pretty well priced for what you are getting. Um, you will have to take care of these pieces of jewelry, but it's no different than buying Miranda Fry or even Majuri. They're in that same category. So I think that I will be probably putting some of these guys on my Christmas wish list as well. Lord help my family. Then the next brand that I wanted to talk about is a little bit on the risque side, and that is Love Vera. Love Vera is a lingerie and intimate apparel company. They are size inclusive, so they've got from, you know, uh, zero to on up to, I think probably a 3X, maybe a 4X. And uh, yeah, it's all lingerie. So if you want to wear something sexy for your partner, this is the place to go. They've got a lot of beautiful selections, a lot of beautiful styles and uh, love the fact that they are size inclusive and even the models on their website are of various sizes. So go have a look, especially if you wanna get something a little bit, you know, a little bit spicy for your boo. The next brand that I wanted to talk about is Lola Aid. And Lola Aid is what I would call um, semi-fine jewelry as well. A lot of the stuff on that website is sold out. Um, and that's too bad because she's got some very, very beautiful pieces on there. Very nice statement earrings and statement necklaces. But they do really focus, I think, on necklaces and such that have like really chunky beads, natural beads. If you really like those very chunky funky beaded necklaces, you know, to be a statement. This is definitely a place to take a look at for you. Um, and or if you really enjoy statement earrings, once a lot of this stuff is restocked, hopefully soon, there's a very wonderful selection of jewelry. One thing that caught my eye on this website is the fact that they have the flat chain, the snake chain. I've been looking for one of those for months now and I've never been satisfied with the price that I find with that type of necklace, but they have one for, I think it's $89 that I've got my eye on. I kind of want to get it because I've been looking and looking and looking and have not found one that is at that price with that type of quality. The next brand that I wanted to talk about are eyeglasses, both optical and sunglasses. It is Coco and Breezy. I really like the frames. I think that they're very nice. I think that they're very edgy. You can find a lot of different styles in their frames, both on the optical side as well as the sunglass side. Um, really, really nice if you're in the market for a new pair of sunglasses and you want something that's a little bit off the beaten path. The next site that I have is one that really, really impressed me and I'll go into why in just a moment. It is called Diara Blue. They are a sustainable brand. Um, essentially, they use mathematics to create their patterns. So the person, I think it's a woman, who started this business, she is a mathematician, and she uses mathematical formulas to come up with the, pa the patterns, the placement, the sizes, and all of that on the fabric. They do have a lot of really, really pretty patterns. What I really liked about this website and impressed me about it is the fact that they ask you for your height which means that they make these clothes on demand custom to your height. If you are petite, then you may want to look at Diara Blue because that is outstanding. I have never, ever, ever encountered a, a retailer that asks for your height. They're definitely one that is on my radar. I've got my eye on a couple of pieces that I wanna get from there, and especially because they will make it to my length. I don't have to worry about doing any tailoring. They're gonna do it for me. And the next brand that I wanted to talk about is called Tree Fairfax. They are also a sustainable brand. They are handbags and small leather goods is what they provide. Um, they are made by hand and what I like about this brand is that they offer stuff in a unique shape, in that half moon shape. 
And uh, I think that that's really clever. It's very cute. It reminds me of being a kid for some reason. Um, and they also sell these beautiful little handmade totes that I wanted to get, but they sold out before I was able to make my purchase. They're really, really pretty. They are also on Etsy. It is 100% leather. They use as much of the leather as they can in their products. And she purposely buys leather that has got scratches and scars on it because that is kind of what makes the bag unique. Another thing about this type of bag and about the leather that she's using is I can tell that they will patina beautifully. They're gonna age very, very well over time. It's gonna last you for a good long while. So this is a bag I think that is one that you can count on for the long haul. The next brand that I wanted to talk about is called Studio 189. Um, they do women's, men's, and kids clothing. Uh, they are made in Africa and they do have a strong African influence in the patterns that they use and also in the design that they do. They do use traditional craftsmanship and they use plant-based dyes. So another sustainable brand that I'm bringing here. They do things like batik, weaving, very tribal and really, really beautiful. I have my eye on a really pretty red and white crop top that I'm thinking about getting because I really love it and I can see it working in a lot of different ways in my closet. So I, I have my sights set on that one. Really, really nice site. Again, sustainable. So if sustainability is something that you have been seeking in the plus size realm, here's one for you. Another, another brand that really impressed me when I was doing my research is a brand called Two Days Off. Another sustainable brand. Everything that she sells is made in linen and I don't have any linen in my wardrobe and I think everybody needs at least one linen piece. Yes, it wrinkles, that is the nature of linen, but in the summer, it, you cannot find a more perfect fabric to wear. I really, really love her designs. Very, very minimal, very straightforward, but honestly, she's got a lot of things on her website that are 100% classic, meaning that you will invest in the piece, but it will be with you for a long time. She offers sizing in plus sizes, up to a 2XL, I think. I really love the stuff that I found on this website. I think that this is one that I may be buying from again and again and again because she does offer such beautifully made and um, simple classic pieces that you can have in your wardrobe for a very very long time they are also made to order so again she doesn't make in large batches she produces in very small batches i think that's a good thing because you know there's no overstock that she's going to have to worry about getting rid of the last brand that i have to bring you today is called gibri and on Jibri, they have got, she's got some very, very beautiful dresses and clothing. Very, very unique shapes. Very much about flattering the plus size body. They are handmade coming from Atlanta, Georgia. So that's really, really cool. For some reason, it reminds me of my mom. My mom was a seamstress and a lot of the clothes that I had growing up, she made for me. And so it, it just brings that, you know, memory back to me. I've got my eye on a few pieces on this website and I am excited to explore and figure out what it is exactly I'm going to get from the website. Really, really beautiful fabrics that she uses as well. Plus she offers bridal and evening on her website and some of her, her bridal designs are actually quite pretty and they're for the non-traditional bride, I would say. She's got a couple of things in there that are traditional, but she's got some stuff in there that's for the non-traditional bride. So if you're a mature woman looking for a wedding dress, I think this is a place to go to and have a look because her, the pricing that she has is pretty reasonable for a wedding dress and they look like they can be worn more than for just a wedding. So please do consider supporting these black owned businesses. You can bet that you're going to see some of this stuff here hauled on my channel pretty soon. I'm going to have another video for you right here. It's been selected just for you. Thank you as always so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.